everything. Nice, nice, we got it. Here we go. Here we go. Hello everyone, I hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm going to explain in detail how you can create the strongest mesmer build to impale your enemies like delicious barbecue skewers. The Spear of the Impaler is an incredible unique great spear that can be obtained after defeating Mesmer the Impaler in Shadow of the Air 3 DLC. Getting this unique weapon is not an easy task, but it is completely worth it as it is indeed an absolute beast. There are multiple ways to create a build around this character, but I will only show you the most effective configuration. With the right setup, this blazing great spear will allow you to delete any boss in just an instant. First of all, I will address the main features of this weapon, I will break down the details of the build, I'm going to try it against the most challenging bosses of the entire game, including the DLC ones, and I will show you the easiest way to defeat Mesmer to obtain this weapon as fast as possible. If you don't want to farm runes or materials for your Elden Ring builds, MMOEXP is the best web service where you can easily acquire as much runes and items as you wish for the best price. Use my code CARLOSEN to get a 5% discount on your purchases. Thanks MMOEXP for sponsoring today's video. The Spear of the Impaler is currently one of the most overpowered unique weapons featured on the Land of Shadows. It has a very decent range and a fantastic design inspired on the shape of a burning flame. This weapon deals physical and fire damage and scales mainly with dexterity and faith. It has a unique R2 attack that will throw the spear at a very long distance. This attack can be charged and the spear will explode on impact, setting the surroundings on fire for a quick moment. It is extremely helpful in situations where you have to fight multiple targets. Throwing the spear from a safe distance can be really useful to clear complicated areas areas without the struggling too much. You can also use this attack while riding torrent, it doesn't deal a lot of damage but as I said it's useful for specific situations. The best part of this weapon is its unique skill Mesmer's Assault. This attack is a beautiful yet destructive movement performed by Mesmer multiple times during its boss fight. It consists on three main inputs that will replicate the exact movement Mesmer performs very similar to the waterfall dance of the Hand of Malenia. The full attack might take an insanely high amount of HP out from your target if it not deletes it before. With enough game awareness and skill, the player can pull out the complete sequence without receiving any damage. Nonetheless, the majority of players will struggle to perform the full attack without taking a few hits. Anyways, it deals a ridiculous amount of damage even without buffs, which makes it a great ability. It is definitely one of my favorite unique skills of the DLC. As you can see, the versatility of this great spear is so remarkable, it can be used in every scenario and it will be consistently effective. Those are the main features of this weapon. Now let's jump straight into the equipment and the stats. We are going to be using the Spear of the Impaler on plus 10 and any seal we have available to cast or main boss. You know that you can use any armor set but I am going to be using the Mesmer's armor set to keep the style of the boss merely for aesthetical reasons, but if you want to increase the damage of the Mesmer's Assault by 10% you can use the Winged Serpent Helm. This helm will increase the damage of the Fire Knight skills and the Mesmer's Assault is a skill that is considered a Fire Knight skill. The best talismans we can use for this build are the Ritual Sword Talisman, the Shard of Alexander, the Fire Scorpion Charm and the Roden Windsor Insignia. However, there are multiple alternatives that you can choose in order to make this weapon more suitable for your playstyle. You can use the smithing talisman to boost the power of the throwing R2s, if you want to charge the R2s the axe talisman is a better option, or if you are a fan of throwing spears you can use both at the same time but I do not recommend this. And another great alternative will be the spear talisman. And of course if you don't have the rodent windsor insignia you can use the Millicent's prosthesis as well. Anyways according to my preferences I'd say that this is the best combination to get the most out of this weapon. It is important to mention that performing the skill of this weapon without receiving damage is a little bit complicated, so you might want to replace the Ritual Sword Talisman with the Rodin Windsor Insignia or with any other talisman you consider useful. In our Flask of Wondrous Physic, we are going to use the Flame Shrouding Crack Tear and the Thorny Crack Tear. This combination is amazing for an aggressive playstyle, but feel free to choose any other tier that goes better with your preferences. And this weapon consumes a decent amount of stamina, so be sure to craft some Pickle Turtle Legs to boost your stamina regeneration speed. In order to get the max performance of this weapon and to have an optimal build, we are going to be using 50 on Vigor, 18 on Mind, 40 on Endurance, 14 on Strength, 80 on Dexterity and 60 on Faith. Golden Vow and Hall of Shabriri are going to be our main buffs, however Flame Grant Me Strength is a great alternative in this build. And I have my Scatter Tree Blessing on the level 15, but feel free to push it all the way up to 20 so you will have the best attack and defense in the DLC. Now that we have completed and optimized our build, what do you say if we embrace the Mesmer's Flame? Ok guys, to buff your character with this build you have to use Golden Vow first. Then use a Pickle Torten Leg, which is completely optional, but I really like to do it. Then use your Flask of Wondrous Physic, cast Hall of Shabriri, two-hand your weapon, refill your FP, and you are ready to go.
Ok. Nice, nice, we got it. Oh, we got it. Oh, 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 oh. Crazy. You're crazy. Go crazy, guys. Let's make this happen, baby. Let's make this happen. Let's go! <laughs> nice! We're running. We're running. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, this guy. Oh my god, are you serious, buddy? Okay. Okay, let's destroy this guy already. Bam. Let's go, baby. I got hit, guys. I don't care. <laughs> hey there, homie. Nice, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Go crazy. I'm using this weapon for the stance damage, guys, mostly. Here we go. No crazy. Boom, baby. Let's go. Crazy. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Let's go. No hit, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Okay guys, now I am going to show you how to defeat Mesmer easily. The weapon that we are going to use is the Death Knight's Twin Axes on plus 10. I have a special build for this weapon, but it works with the same build that we are using today. And instead of the Fire Scorpion Charm, we are going to use the Millicent's Prosthesis. And replacing the Fire Shrouding Crack Tear, we are going to use the Lightning Shrouding Crack Tear. And with that, we should destroy Mesmer easily. Okay, the secret here is to use the skill as much as possible in order to get some openings to deal damage without taking uh, that much damage. Uh, I will show you how to do it. It's not that complicated. It's actually really easy to, to do. I recommend that you use a better armor so you don't have to be healing uh, every time. But here you dodge the first attack and use the skill immediately. And you won't take damage but you will deal a lot of damage on him. And be sure to dodge his attacks. I hate this guy. We dodge this. We dodge this as well. As much as possible and we use the skill here. And deal as much damage as you could. Now we are in the second phase. We can heal here basically. And we have a free hit here at the start. We dodge and we use the skill immediately and we uh, deal damage basically and as you can see it's a lot of damage and I guess we can... oh dang it man it was a terrible RNG but... oh yeah this is really good we can use the skill here use the skill and he's basically done as you can see guys this is a very good build to defeat uh, Mesmer I mean it's the same build as you can see it's the same build, it's the exact same build but with another weapon and that way you will be able to obtain the weapon easily.